So how did you get this role? How did that happen? Um, I auditioned. It was like a, it was pilot season. And it was like the third pilot that right. I had been sent, and um, I came in to audition and. They said that they liked me, but they hadn't set the two main characters yet, right, right. Dawn and Charlie. So then I got another job in the meantime because I wasn't going to wait around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pilot yeah. season, you kind of want to get something right away. And then I ended up going to Hawaii to film something. And then I kept calling my agent and being because I didn't really like the project I was doing in Hawaii. I didn't think it had a lot of legs. And so then I kept saying, "Well, what's happening with them? What's happening with them?" And then eventually, I guess they had a hard time finding someone for the part, so they offered it to me without right. me when I was in Hawaii. So I came back and I filmed it, and that's how I kind of got it. Right, 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 right. So they met me in the beginning, but it didn't happen until like a long, a while later. And then what would you say is what's happened to you through the years of doing this? What have you learned? How has it changed you? You know, what's been the process for you? I mean, I think at first you're just happy to have a job, you know, and then as you go on, you learn more and you become more experienced, and it becomes more about. Um, you know, it's hard because sometimes you feel like there's not a lot of quality control. Mm -hmm. And it's really up to you as an actor right, to do right, good work right. and to really kind of commit and to, you know, occasionally you'll have a director who comes in and who's good and does what they're doing, but the majority of the time it's not like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so well, they're looking for certain things. They're not looking for, they don't need performance beyond a certain yeah. level. It doesn't really interest them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it becomes about kind of... You know, like I guess, I guess doing this, I've kind of had to, especially recently, like maybe in the last season or two, it's because I've been like really recommitting to being an actor. I'm yeah, excited yeah. about it again. And, and, and I think there's another thing that I've learned, which which is just if you don't commit and you don't keep working, you get depressed. And after yeah. a while, you just kind of get it just isn't enough. I mean, people think, oh, I'm working in this yes. business. That's all you need. It's not enough. You've got to keep evolving and developing. Or you do, you get depressed. Well, that's yeah, that's what I mean by like, the quality yeah, control. Yeah, yeah, like, you yeah. have to constantly be on yourself about being the best you can be and going deeper and working harder. Because uh, if you don't do it, no one else will do it. And it does get depressing. I completely well, agree with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really does. I think the other thing is it's interesting and difficult for actors is that when you have a director, I mean, I do like watching and paying attention. When you have a director watching and somewhat protecting, you, you can then go out on limbs that you can't go out on otherwise. I mean, that's the difficult part of this process is you have to sort of, if you're doing quality control, then you can't risk. If you know there's someone there who's going to protect you, then you can go out there and do kind of wilder things, which makes it difficult in these kind of circumstances. Yeah, that's true, definitely. I mean, like the scene we were doing yesterday, you know, morning with the scene with the necklace, it's like a lot of times, yeah. Like, I had worked on that before I came in, so we were able to do things with it, and you were able to put, you know, we were able to work on it. Like, yeah, yeah, really yeah, work yeah, in a yeah. way. And a lot of times on TV, you don't have time to work, because yeah, you have to get yeah. the scene by 1.30, and it's, you know, just getting the shot kind of thing. So, um, but I think that's important, because otherwise, if I just came here and that's all I did, just got the shot, I would not be yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah, no, you wouldn't be happy. You've got to get into the feelings and the emotions, yeah. the intellect, all those kinds of things. It was interesting yesterday with that scene with the necklace, because <laughs> the most important, in some ways, very important in the process is the blocking. If it's blocked right, you know, I mean, originally it was sort of like the necklace was just there and he handed it to you, which wasn't really. I wanted, I wanted to have him walk and right. find it in a drawer and kind of have you come around. I mean, those kinds of things are really, really important to kind of unleash, sort of, um, yeah, unleash the feelings. You have to have a real, real sort of uh, world that you're moving through. And it can get difficult in TV or even in features where you get kind of circumscribed by what the camera is supposed to do. And if you can right. free that all up, you can really free up the feelings too. You know? Yeah. I mean, I just feel like a lot of that yesterday was, you know, even for Judd, I feel like he was discovering things as we were going through that yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember at one point we were doing it and he had his back turned to me and I remember thinking, well, maybe... I, I mean, the, you were saying don't anticipate the end of the scene in the beginning. Who right. knows, maybe he's going to be something funny, you know, whatever. And then you see that, and the more kind of opposite you go with him when he brings it up, the more you can have a, a more powerful, more kind of poignant reaction, or hopefully what's going to be pointed to the audience, you know, if you're not expecting it.